sun is shining 24 7. Welcome to another video of the fun accountant. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. My name is Louis, and this video is all about automating the process of recording of business expenses with the Dext emailing system. Syncing and sending all of that important information to Sage Accounting. Solving the problem of capturing supplier invoices and keeping track of expenses and liabilities in an efficient yet accurate manner. Also, providing a solution to deal with the magnitude of supplier invoices landing in your email inbox and actually doing something useful with them that excludes printing them and creating unnecessary paperwork. Wow, this is really a mouthful. Let me break it down for you. I am going to forward a supplier invoice received straight to Dext and test how the data extraction and syncing the information to Sage Accounting works. Let's see if this can reduce the paper burden of purchases and payments in our business and increase efficiency. It is common for suppliers to send their invoices via email. I am logged into my email inbox and I will use this supplier invoice received from Tracy as an example. But first, before I can do anything, and which you will also need to do, is to find your unique text cost email address. Let me show you how we do this. I'm logged into Dext's main menu and you will find your cost email address in the left side bar menu under users. This email address is unique to each user and automatically created by Dext when you add a user. The address's details can be changed later if you want, provided it has not been used by anyone else anywhere on the Dext system. Under my name, the fun accountant, is the sales email address for customer invoices. But you can ignore it as we will not be using it in this example. But it is a useful function that you may need. In future videos, I will show you more about this. The multiple costs document splits a single file that contains more than one invoice into multiple documents. The multiple costs document function of text has saved me a great deal of time before, but I'm going to also leave it for a future video. I'm going to copy the single document's email address, which I plan to use in my mail server. This address will be used for files which contain only one document per file. Back at my emails, with the supplied invoice received from Tracy, you open it like any other email and the invoice is attached to the mail with a message from the supplier and short contact details. Then I click on forward here at the bottom. For the recipient of the email, I paste the cost address that I've copied from Dext and send it. The message has been sent. Let's go back to Dext under the costs section in the left side menu bar and see how Dext deals with this invoice. Under my inbox, you can see that Dext has received the invoice, Dext has extracted information from the invoice and the status of the document is ready. Let's click on the ready button to see everything that happened in the Dext engine. You can see that Dext recognized the document type as an invoice, the date has been correctly extracted from the invoice, the supplier name and invoice number have been extracted. Now I'm quickly 
going to Sage to see if this supplier already exists in my Sage accounting system by getting a supplier list under the report section. In the search field, you can easily search for a supplier. And here it is confirmed that this supplier already exists. If the supplier was not already created in the site system, Dex will create that supplier for you when you publish a document. Okay, let's look at other data extracted. You can see that the expense category is already completed because I've previously set up a quick entry rule that is associated with the supplier. I'm going to enter a description for this expense to provide useful information when a person looks at the details of the general ledger. The detailed ledger is a summary list of purchases of an expense category for a specific period. Then the amount section follows. The total amount extracted agrees with the invoice. The tax amount agrees as well as the expense amount excluding tax. This invoice will be published in SAGE as a supplier invoice transaction by increasing the expense and the amount owed to the supplier as well as the VAT amount claimable in the VAT transaction report. At the inbox section the document is busy publishing which means it is recorded in my SAGE accounting system. Once text and SAGE complete the transaction syncing process, the document is stored in the archive section which can be found under Costs in the left menu bar. From the archives you can view the document whenever you need as well as the information extracted and populated in its particular field and the details of how this transaction was processed. I'm now heading to sites for the great reveal and test whether this transaction was recorded correctly or not. We're first going to drop in at the supplier invoices. This is the area where supplier invoices are added to the accounting system. The text sites integration has done all the hard work for us. On the first line is the newly recorded transaction of the supplier and at a quick glance the transaction summary already shows that the details correspond with the information extracted by Dext from the document. The supplier name Document number, invoice number, invoice date, and the total amount. The paper clip at the end of the line is an orange color as opposed to a light gray, which tells you that there is a document attached to this transaction. Upon clicking on a paper clip to open a transaction document, you will see that it is the actual invoice that we have opened in Dext, originating from the email, in a neat and clear format. The source document attached like this to the transaction line assists with proving the validity, accuracy and completeness of this transaction. When you click on the blue document number automatically assigned to this transaction, you are directed to where the details of a supplier invoice is recorded. All the fields are pre-populated from Dext, including the expense category, the description that I have entered in Dext, the VAT type, the expense amount, the VAT amount, and the total amount due. It will be interesting to have a look at the supplier ledger and see how this transaction was recorded in the particular supplier's account. You can do that by clicking on suppliers in the top navigation menu, scroll to reports and then to supplier transactions, 
set the date range to yearly, select the supplier and view report. As expected, the transaction is accurately recorded on the correct date with the correct description. In accounting, there is a principle known as the double-sided entry system, which merely means that there are always two entries in accounting. In this example, the other part of the transaction, which is the expense side, is clear and logical. You can view the details of the expenses in the general ledger, which can be found in Sage, from the top navigation menu under Accounts, scroll to Reports, and then Account Transactions. By following the same procedure as to view the supplier details, specify the date range, search and choose the expense category, and view report. The expense transaction is accurately disclosed under the telephone and internet account, with the amounts excluding that, and the other details also corresponding to the information extracted from text, like the date, the supplier name, transaction type, and the description. To wrap this up, let me show you where to find the report in the SAITS accounting system that will give you the total amount due by your two suppliers on any given time frame. This report is also popularly known as a supplier age analysis. From the top navigation menu under suppliers, reports and lastly click on supplier balances days outstanding. This report gives you a snapshot of supplier balances due on a specific date and to view all and any amounts due. Do not select a specific supplier. I'm going to view a summary and very important, exclude suppliers with zero balances as having them displayed would uh, clutter my report with unwanted information. Click on view report for the end result. The report is generated by the site system and from here you can see who you need to pay from your business purchases, for how old the debt is and what the total outstanding amount is. More importantly, for this example recorded, you can see the 115 rand amount that has been recorded by the Dext and Sage integration without the need for me to manually enter any amount. And as a matter of fact, I only entered the description for this transaction. To summarize, you have now seen one of the methods I use to automate the capturing of business expenses by merely sending a supplier invoice via my emails to Dext, where the most important information is extracted and populated to my site's accounting system by clicking the publish button. Hopefully you find this method helpful in your working environment and if you want to try Sage and Dext, I will leave a link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.